CCTV News at 6 with Hudson Mack. Good evening. Thank you for being here. Premier Christy Clark broke down in tears today as she was presenting the latest statistics on drinking and driving. The provincial government says no fewer than 45 lives have been saved since its tough new drunk driving law was introduced a year ago. But as CTV Stephen Andrews shows us, what was clearly on the Premier's mind today was a very personal story of a person killed by a drunk driver before that new law came into effect. And, uh, but today is a very important, to, uh, important day. It started simply enough, the Premier remembering a fateful day in July 2003 when colleague Arnie Hamilton, then MLA for Esquimalt Juan de Fuca, lost his son in a crash. I remember being at his funeral when I served with Arnie uh, here in the legislature. And there is nothing. Comforted by Solicitor General Shirley Bond, Christy Clark attempts to continue. There is nothing like the idea that you could lose your child. Nearly 400 Canadians are killed by drunk drivers on the road every year. Another 25,000 are injured. The greatest risk to our children and the people that we love is not terrorism, it's not a plane crash, it's a drunk driver. And so the impact of the government's changes in the drunk driving laws have been felt in a very real way across this province. And those numbers are significant. Police imposed immediate roadside bans on nearly 23,500 drivers and impounded more than 20,000 vehicles. The government says in the past year, those actions helped reduce alcohol-related deaths, saving 45 lives. Critics argue the new laws could be seen as decriminalizing drunk driving. The number of criminal charges laid is down, uh, but uh, more people are alive. So it's that never-ending balance. Police say that balance is getting drunk drivers off the road quickly and is deterring other drivers from drinking and driving. And despite pressure from the hospitality industry, the province says it has no plans to back away from its tough stance. Our intent is to obviously uh, uh, continue to look for ways that we can ensure that British Columbians do not drink and get in their cars. Despite that position, a number of drivers are challenging the old law in court. Stephen Andrew, CTV News, Victoria.